Hey everyone, welcome back to Go Kick Me, your favorite crowdfunding news and reviews channel here on YouTube. So today's video is going to be really short. I'm talking about Indiegogo Project Ironwire 2. The best cable ever is back from $7.50. Best cable just got better. Now tested to over 50,000 bends at an unbeatable IgG price. So this is a, basically it's a smartphone cable. They've got iPhone, they've got USB 3 mini USB versions and it is a braided fabric uh, cable with some stress relief rubber here on the tip and it actually you know quality wise looks pretty decent they show in the video that they've got it yeah that's the difference that's why you want this and not this uh, and they've tested it to 50,000 bends on this creepy underlit Chinese factory, so looking good. Pop your hands now. 120 kilograms, that's what, 250 pounds, 260 pounds. That's impressive, and they even show it lifting up this nice lady. Her friends didn't quite trust it. Okay, ready, set, okay, hope it doesn't break. I, she definitely doesn't weigh 150, uh, 120 kilograms. Plus the chair. Maybe the chair is heavy. Anyway, so there's nothing wrong with that. That's all cool. Uh, the only thing I have to say is you can basically get the exact same cable with the braiding and I'm sure just as strong uh, where I live in Hong Kong for how much is it? About $2. Um, you know, maybe $3 for a long one, $2 for a short one. I do notice they did cut out the background here. So these are all stills. Simply. So clearly somebody did a not so great Photoshop job. Um, yeah, definitely not a good job, Photoshop job. Solution for this. We have uh, actually comes in almost the same package. So clearly they're just making them in the same factory, getting them shipped over here. Nothing really different, except uh, the usual ones don't have that long, the long, uh, what's your dingy? The long uh, neck here so that's a minor improvement um, you know how often do you actually do this right so anyway maybe a little bit longer uh, maybe a little bit better material the only other thing is they say it's licensed so is it really licensed does it make a difference I think for micro USB and for USB 3 it actually won't make any difference uh, for the Apple one, hypothetically does. I've had a lot of cables go bad on the Apple side, uh, you know, over time, but some last for several years. Oh, another Photoshop, same one. Uh, anyway, so that's just the only thing I wanted to warn you guys. I'm sure the cable is pretty decent, although I did notice, and when you look at these things closely enough, you do notice. See, this one has, both of these ones have the blue on the top, and this one does it. I've actually had some extremely similar ones. I don't have them with me because I'm on the road, but basically at my house I have some extremely similar, and these things tend to slide off uh, if the glue comes loose, and it's actually kind of a pain because if you don't, because they don't interfere with your phone case and whatnot, so uh, sometimes you just want to pull it all the way off. But anyhow, it's just weird that this one doesn't have that edge. This one does version 1.0 versus 2.0 or something. I don't know the difference. Anyway, not exactly tangle free. It's harder to tangle, I guess. Um, so yeah, like literally this exact same package. You can, this what the same factory that makes these makes the ones you sell on the street in Hong Kong for $2. So buyer beware. This one includes, so there's someone to come after, I guess if it dies. Uh, I don't think they have any kind of warranty on here, but uh, yeah, you'll get on their mailing list for other stuff. They're answering comments um, about it being waterproof. I don't think it's really waterproof, water resistant. Like, it's not waterproof if you can't use it underwater, which you wouldn't want to do because then it would get wet inside and screw up your phone. Uh, so anyway, I just think it's overpriced. And oh, I, by the way, I don't really believe this. Major retailers refuse to stock iron wire because a cable that doesn't break is too disruptive to the revenues. 
So ma major retailers are turning away premium goods. Uh, I guess there's some people who really make a lot of money off of selling built-in obsolescence cables, but not really. Um, you know, if they charged 20 bucks for this, told everyone it had a lifetime warranty, people would probably buy it. Anyhow, um, I'm curious, they actually show in the video it being uh, used to pull a car. I'm wondering what they're hooking this up to. Does it have a trail hitch there or is this all phony? Um, and then they actually don't show it starting because that's the hardest part. Um, they missed the part where he let go and she fell. Uh, so anyhow, that's my view on iron wire. I would say just, you know, if you want to buy a big chunk, if you want to buy thousands of them, you know, or hundreds of them, or even a 10 pack, let me know. I'll send you some from Hong Kong. You can just PayPal me the money. So anyway, iron wire two, good product. Does it need to be on Kickstarter or Indiegogo? Probably not. Is it very special? Not really. That's it for today. That's it for today. See you guys next time here on Go Kick Me. And check us out on Facebook and Twitter at Go Kick Me and GoKickMedia.com to sign up for our newsletter. Bye.